the entire sales force. Let's say I just wanted to find, I just wanted to find where and all Deepak exists. Let's say I just put in double quotes Deepak. You can see it just retrieves my only it only give the idea of the record, it won't give the anything else because we are not keeping any fields. So you can see I just kept fine and then within the curly braces I just fed the I mean gave the keyword what I wanted to search. I have deeper in dealer we have one record contact I have two records lead one record apex classes even in apex classes there is a deeper this is something interesting isn't it hello yes yeah. user we have one deeper even in apex class we have one deeper let's say I wanted to search for other things I'll put our condition I'll say indicate Data got updated. In Apex classes, we have two. In users, we have two users because I think that Nikhil is also a sales user here. Nikhil and Sunil, we have users, right? Dealer and Apex classes. So you can see, I, I, I never ask like from which objects I need information. By itself, I mean the query itself, the find itself, which is giving data. The one we are trying to do here is called Salesforce object, Salesforce search language, Salesforce object search language. This is not a query, this is called search language. So if I want to retrieve a field from a particular column, then I can say in, and I can mention by name field, I'll say, I'll say name fields, returning fields, you need to say returning, you need to say returning. Whatever caps I am writing, these are the standard thing, okay. These should be in the same format. Fields returning, and you have to mention your object name. I'll say let mention myself as a two coding skills underscore content underscore underscore field. And you need to mention the what are the fields you need name comma. I'll just mention name now. ID comma name. Now you'll get only that data. You see, you got only that object data. If I wanted to know my even my contact, I'll say contact name comma phone. You got two records now, right? If you need, but if you are looking for a particular object, then you can mention by keeping fields returning. There is a keyword called fields returning. And then you can put your object name, whatever the fields you needed from that object, you can get it. And here you can see, I can also add where condition, where name like I'm just keeping only Lakshmi. Now you don't see there is no records coming from there. If I keep deeper, then we got one record. Deepak, yeah. the keyword in you used, right? Yeah. So is it like a filter kind of thing? In, yes, like yes. In? this is a keyword. In, hey, I wanted to look these fields in where? Okay. I wanted to look these fields in where? Deepak and Nikhil, I need to look into a field name called name. Fields returning, which fields I need to return? Hey. Pro coding skills within the brace, and you can mention your field name, contact, and you can mention. If you want to mention something else, you can also put user, or uh, you can say Apex class. Where is it? This is not working. Find is working, but. Apex class will contact them without keyword here. Mm. So this is something like you can mention in in the sense which field you are looking for. This is a string that you are trying to search in which field, name field, and then returning what you need to return and your objects and that particular fields to be returned. Okay. Okay, so you can find any field, you can including find any email, phone number. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
is into in proper is to have that let's say email underscore underscore c you can see in email i am finding now in email and this is you understand right here you need to pass the data types clear any doubt on this as well as sir Deepak. SYSL is a such language that you need to use. Okay. Deepak, I can't see your screen. Now you can't. Okay. So SYSL is for a such language. So you can do a such, but you can't do much more with SYSL. But the most powerful language, the powerful query that we use called SQL, Salesforce Object Query Language. This is. the one you will be using 900% in salesforce okay you whatever class you write whatever trigger you write whatever queries you do you do everything is sqql clear see while writing sqql you should remember we should remember few things so we have two types of objects in salesforce one is standard objects and another is custom objects right so how will you identify the standard and custom see if something is standard if something is standard what you will get you will get under you don't get underscore underscore c isn't it if something is custom you will be getting standard i mean underscore underscore c we have two different objects standard objects and we have custom object right how it was differentiated for for standard objects you don't get underscore underscore c and custom you have underscore underscore c isn't it Yes. We have to keep a note the relationship of an object. We have two different relationship field name. Relationship field name. Relationship field name. And we have child relationship name. we have child relationship name again when i say relationship field name what is the relationship field name what is the relation example what is the relationship between account and contact what is the relationship between account and contact here i need to get relationship name i need to get to know relationship name okay relationship field child relationship child relation ship so we need to find three things here we need to find three things relationship type relationship field child relationship name object name we need to find totally how many things four things how to find first we need to find the, what is the relationship between account and contact how to check that what is the relationship what's the navigation all you need to go to your salesforce go to your setup object field and you can say because i am in classic environment i can search directly for contacts fields and here you can see what is the relationship type look up right so relationship type is Look up, 
and uh, what is the relationship field name account isn't it field name yes because because this is a standard field because this is a standard field whenever you see field name whenever you see field name okay whenever you see field name try to concatenate with id always if something is a standard relationship and if you find the field name of relationship and always try to concatenate with id okay always concatenate with id clear you need to add id at last if it is a standard fields is this clear and now i need to find the child how to find the child relationship name i need to go to my account name i need to open the relationship field and we can see there is a child relationship name field there is a child relationship field name so i can take it contacts what is the object name that we are trying to query now what is the object name because this is a standard object we can say it is contact you understood how to get a look first we need to know the what is the relationship field name and relationship field name. once you get the relationship field name and if it is a standard relationship then you need to add id at last of the field name clear always you need to add id okay and how to get a child relationship name whatever the field you are looking and try to open that field and you will find a column called child relationship name which is used these are the four things that you can able to get it from if the relationships are standard what if it is a custom relationship created by a user let's say custom relationship what is the relationship between location and dealer between again we what we need to find again we need to find the these four things again we need to find these four things first we need to find what is the relationship between what is the relationship type name so let me go to dealer object so i can see that objects and i can go to my dealer and now what is the relationship between dealer and location master detail isn't it so we have a master detail and a location object considering that dealer is a child and location is a parent so we have a md relationship we have a md relationship and relationship field name what is the field name location name for a custom you don't want to worry anything you just copy paste the same thing location underscore name underscore underscore c chain relationship name all you need to open that location here is the tricky part here we have chain relationship dealers right we have only chain relationship name dealers so let's say d l e a r s dealer but here you need to say one thing you need to concatenate always underscore underscore r you need to consider underscore underscore r clear <coughs> underscore underscore r okay. and finally it will comes as dealers underscore underscore r is the relationship field name and uh, here we need to add one more condition saying that get parent field Here you can see account dot name, which is nothing but account dot parent field name. So, because we concatenate here, saying that this is how we converted here we added at a relationship field level here we added at child relationship level and we also have one more condition called get parent field how to get parent field location underscore underscore name instead of underscore underscore name 
location underscore name underscore underscore c is a relationship field name so you need to make it is r dot parenthesis r dot parenthesis you understood this if something is relating then you need to keep a call with a variable called underscore underscore r instead of c clear any doubt any doubt on this Deepak, can you hear me? Yes, 